All right, well, it is like 56 degrees out this morning. It's a beautiful day. Morning, chickens. Good morning. Anyways, change of plans already. I just went to the mailbox and my Apivar has shown up. Now, I have already treated with oxalic acid, but my mite drop was not at all what I expected. So I'm going to go ahead and treat these girls with, with Apivar. Now, that's what I used last year and it worked really, really well. Unfortunately, last year, I actually forgot to uh, remove it from the hives. And a lot of the hives, I pulled the, uh, the Apivar strip out in the spring. I hope that I do not let that happen again. However, if I do, I already know that it's not going to hurt the bees. Anyways, that's the new plan for the day. Now, I may still go through those. I don't know whether or not I'll have time, but I'm going to try to get through all of the hives today, including the, the four on the back bench there, Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, and give them Apivar strips. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set these in my cabinet. And then uh, a little bit later, when it warms up, like I said, it's only 55, 56 degrees right now. I will uh, we'll come out here and finish this up. Let me tell you while I'm waiting on the smoker to, to, to successfully light, I mean, it's lit, but it's not really lit the way that I want it to be lit. Anyways, summer here in Georgia is great. Bees love it, but let me tell you the fall here in Georgia this is the time to do beekeeping. Now, too bad the bees are kind of wrapping it up for the year, but for me, I enjoy it. No humidity, it's nice and brisk in the morning, it's, it's, it's cool in the afternoon, the leaves are falling. It's just, this is, this is my time of year. My time of year, I mean, I love spring too, and then summer again. Summer's great for beekeeping, but summer's not, summer's not any fun for humans in Georgia. It's just, it's too hot, too muggy. Spring and fall, spring and fall, fall's the best. Hey, I think we're ready to go. So my goal is to make this video quick. I know that the last video was a bit long and you folks have a very, very small attention span. You like to keep it around 10, 15 minutes under 15 minutes, so that's what we're gonna to try to do. I have a lot of hives to get through in 15 minutes. I'm gonna be working hard. Actually, it's probably gonna take me a few hours out here, but I'll try to get it edited down to about 15 minutes or less. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll go through uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines next week. And this week, we'll just go ahead and put the Apifar strips in there. You know what else I need from you? I know that somebody out there has a method for cleaning the, the, the honey and propolis and gunk off of your gloves. These gloves are so stiff. There's gotta be a way to, to rejuvenate these gloves. I, I would hate to have to go out and buy another pair of gloves. So uh, if you know, put it in the comments down below. I would appreciate it. Well, I am not going to, I'm not going to be as cavalier with these as I was with the OA because this stuff here, it says can cause death if absorbed through the skin, well, I don't want to handle these without gloves, so I'll use my gloves. I don't want to be dead. Now, see, across the lake, I don't know whether you can hear that or not, because the camera's facing this way and it's a directional camera, but uh, someone across the lake, they've got a problem with their car alarm going off. It's been going off all morning, just off and on, so you may hear it during the video. It is what it is. Let's uh, let's dive in here. Hello, ladies. Hello. There we go. And that is a beautiful frame. I don't know what this side looks like. We've got some brood. But we've got a lot more brood. On this side here. I'm going to go ahead and set this right here. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put them I'm going to put them on this frame right here. So 
So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one Now I'm going to put one right here. Okay, these girls are on me. They don't they don't like me doing this. Okay, so my initial plan was to take it out, put the, the Apovar strips on the on the center of some of the frames. A lot of those frames down there are filled with, with nectar. They're, they're packing it out for the winter. And a lot of the bottom parts of the frames have not been drawn yet. So what I'm just doing is I'm just going to put them in the top and, and, and that should be good enough. I mean, I think that the bees are eventually going to traverse the entire inside of that hive. And, and I think it's going to do what it needs to do to take care of the... Uh, take care of the mites um that and these girls are they're they're on edge i don't want to get stung i mean they were just they were all over me now they've 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 gone back to doing what they're doing they don't care that i'm standing here anymore but they were getting on me for a minute hi bees I brought you some medicine there are most of the bees Got some here there you go and We'll put some over here. There you go. You'll put your lid right back on. So fall really is a busy time for beekeeping. I mean, it's busy for me, I'm assuming it's busy for you. There's a lot to do. Because we all we all like having those those record honey harvests in the spring. I've got squirrels throwing acorns and, and pine cones out of trees at me. It's, it's a wonderful time of year. But it is it is a it is a busy time of year, and if we don't do what we need to do and do it correctly in the fall. Be a lot more work in the spring. The spring harvest won't really be what we want it to be. Hello. Here we go. Now I know some of you are going to say, well, you're supposed to be lifting up the box and putting it on the brood, on the brood nest. Well, I can tell you this, looking down into the top, I can see that there is brood in the upper box. My queens are laying up here right now. If I see that there is no brood in the upper chamber, I will lift the box and put it down in the bottom. But if I can see brood from the top, this is where they're going. Um, I think just by the mere fact that I've got these things in the hive, it's going to it's going to eliminate the mites for me. Um, Apovar did a fantastic job last year. I'm pretty certain that it's going to do a fantastic job again this year. There's a goal that I managed to not meet. It's because I've been busy and it's been hot, and I didn't really want to do a lot of work in the shop. And I'll, I'll probably I'll probably do it um, this winter. But uh, my goal was to replace these two hives with bee barns and uh, I never got around to it. I still have only six bee barns and I intended to have eight and I will still have eight just don't have them right yet and I'll probably work on those this winter. I've got the wood, I've got everything I need to make two more bee barns. I just haven't 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 done the work. This is a brood frame right here. Hello. And I'll put another one right there. There you go. Some medicine girls. There you go. Okay, what do we have happening in here? All right, this middle frame is slap full of honey. Wow. You know what I want to do? I'm probably going to regret this. want to have a look. Just want to have a look. 
make sure that these girls aren't getting nectar bound down here in the bottom. Hello, ladies. Okay, it's just the top. It's just the top. I see some drones in there still. Okay. Go ahead and put this away. Oh, they're they're getting they're getting angry. They're getting angry. Okay. Hey girls. Okay, I've got them all over me. Okay. I'm shutting you up. Okay, I gotta I gotta step away. not like that at all. We're giving them the, the big smoke screen, putting these in there and getting out. Hello, there's one. There's two. There's a box. Sorry if anybody got squashed up front there. And here's your lid. There you go. It's all good. All good. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. See, the problem is that now I've got the attack pheromone from Juno's girls all around, and the minute I open this up, the purple hive is going to smell it. Now, see, that's a good question. I don't know whether the attack pheromone from one set of bees is the same as the attack pheromone from another set of bees, i.e., can the attack pheromone from Juno trigger the girls in the purple hive and get them angry? Do you know? Leave it in the comments because that would be something interesting to, to know. I do not know that. Hello, ladies. Hello, don't mind Juno's girls. They're crazy. Oh, there's a hive beetle. Walked right across the top. I think it was showing off. It was daring me to come after it, but I'm not going in there. Okay, most of my bees seem to be over here. And over here. I still have Juno's bees on me and I'm three hives down now. Hello. And there's the Crynot girls and they've got a bunch of pollen on the ground. Both these hives do. Son of a gun. I might have to get onto the old CAD program and fire up the 3D printer and try to come up with a uh, new solution for hive beetle entrances. I think the, uh, I think the Guardian was a valiant effort, but I think it's got problems. Just saying. When these Cronach bees were more rambunctious oh, than Juno. That time has passed. These bees are not, not as crazy as they once were. I don't know whether these are Cronach bees flying around me or whether these are, uh, whether these are Little Juno's girls. I think it's Juno's girls. Hello. Hello. Holy moly. Here would be a good place. This hive is packed with bees. I mean packed with bees. Okay. All right, well, there you go. Now, we did manage to finish all the bee barns on the front, and I'm going to go ahead and run you know, through the back here and, and, and put one ape of our strip in each one of these, uh, these small hives. 
but but that's it it's just uh, just fall chores not a lot of exciting things going on in the uh, in the fall but a lot of things that have to be done um, for us beekeepers I mean it is what it is I've got uh, I think they're Juno's girls still all over me here so I've got to keep my, my veil on but anyways with all that said I hope you enjoyed this video if you did do me a favor give me a thumbs up if you have something to say by all means please comment and please leave uh, some comments down in the bottom and answer the questions that I put out there today because I really 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 need to know the answers anyways with all that said I hope you enjoyed this video again uh, like comment subscribe and be happy I will see you next week take care <laughs>